never felt that a number one pick was just being ignored so much until like Kate Cunningham. Like I don't think anybody's. Do you guys agree with me? I want to hear your thoughts right now down below. Do you guys agree? Why is the media not giving Kate Cunningham any respect? And a lot of people are saying it's because he's playing in Detroit and he's playing on a losing team. But what he's doing is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if Evan Mobley and Scotty Barnes weren't having the years that they were, like stat wise over the last few games, Kate Cunningham has been playing at like an all NBA level, you could argue, if you look just at the eye test and he's setting up everybody he's been playing like the number one guy he's a floor general and i know that it's not turning into wins but i really think this is a team next year they're gonna take a big jump again like and subscribe tell me what you guys think kate cunningham is he as good as i'm saying he is i really think this guy is truly unbelievable second to none and there's not a knock on his game like because He's not the world's most, he's athletic as all hell, but he's not an elite athlete, so his game's going to age gracefully. But over the last 10 games, he's been a 19-point scorer, shooting like 44% from the field, 43% from three, about like seven rebounds, five assists, about a steal and a half and a block a game. Like, this guy's been just blowing up, and no one's giving him the respect that he, he deserves. He's just been balling, okay? Balling. And... Any other year, he'd be rookie of the year, even if he missed this time. I just think this guy's like, what? It's like almost 6'8", 220. And he runs the floor. And he's looking for teammates throwing passes in his stride. And arguably, I really think Kate Cunningham is one of the best players to enter the league since, arguably. I think you can go back to maybe even, I, I want to say, KD or... You could go back to 2010, Anthony Davis, or like I'm talking about guys who come in and they impact the team and they make them like they transform them. Like Damian Lillard esque, I think Kate Cunningham has potential in the sense that I'm not talking about like comparing them to that. I'm just talking about impact in the sense that first year might be rough. First year might be rough, like team record wise. But what he does should give you guys hope. I mean, that's what Anthony Edwards has done for us, the Timberwolves. I and you know Chris Finch, obviously, and Carl Anthony Towns and Pat Beverly. But that's not the, what this video is about. It's just I think the media is just ignoring this. And in like past years, we've seen all these other Rookie of the Years, okay, come in and everyone's talking their good stuff, okay. And I think like look. I think he has a dominant impact and a LeBron James-esque feel to the game where he makes everyone around him better, okay? Like in the past, I really think if you go back and look at this, I think Kate Cunningham could end up being like following the lines of like Chris Paul, Kyrie, you know, and Damian Lillard. I, I, let me take out Kyrie, take out Kyrie. I mean, I think he could be just as a uh, freaking incredible ball handler, but like, let me take out Kyrie. I'm taking Kyrie out of that. I'm take back. Don't think I said Kyrie, but Damian Lillard, okay, where he comes in and he just makes an impact that's like second, like incredible. Like Luka Doncic. I mean, Luka is incredible in all NBA, and that's something to live up to by me saying that. But I think in the sense that K Cunningham is going to change this team's around and people are going to start signing in Detroit because of Cade and I just think that's something we shouldn't take for granted you know and I just think it's so disrespectful well as a sports media journalist major I just think that's disrespectful as all hell by the media to be just ignoring this man for you know what because his team is I don't know. I, I just, I just feel like it's, it's just disrespectful as all hell because they're basically saying, ignoring him because he plays in Detroit and his team isn't doing well, even though he's the number one pick. And it just feels like this is the first time in a long time that they've done that because Anthony Edwards got all the praise and hype last year and just like, and he was on the Timberwolves with that. I just, I feel like it's different this year. It just sucks. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you?
do you guys agree with me on this or am I just complaining the, and you know what I mean just sounding stupid but genuinely I, I, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts I mean let me hear them okay like what is this like what what are we trying to do here let me hear those thoughts like and spread